you log into your account, the first thing you'll see is this dashboard. And starting from the top, you'll be able to create a new campaign over here. You can use this drop down here and create a regular campaign, AB split test campaign, out a recent campaign, and RSS campaign. Then we have the last campaign you sent, which is over here. If you click this thumbnail, you will have access to this preview. And of course, you can also see the mobile version here. You can copy the preview link if you need to send it to anyone and also save your whole campaign as a PDF file over here. You can turn off this preview by clicking this X. Then we have the view report button. You also have a drop down that allows you to download the campaign or print it. Here are the simple stats, 25 recipients, 15 opened, 10 clicked. If you hover over it, these stats change up a little bit. Now, of course, this is a demo account. You'll see a lot of zeros here because this is not a real account. Then you can copy this campaign here and also delete it right over here. Here you have your active subscribers in your account. These might not be all of your subscribers in total because you might have deleted some. Uh, some might have went into the spam complaint folder. These are only the active ones that you can currently send to. You have new subscribers here, zero this month, and last month it was seven. Here you have a link to the sign-up forms. If you want to collect more subscribers, that's the fastest way of doing it. Then you have your plan here. This plan is up to 5,000 subscribers. The unique subscribers used is over here. If you hover over this little question mark, you'll see that this number shows how many unique subscribers you have already used by sending them your campaigns in the last 30 days. So as you know, in MailerLite, you might have millions of subscribers in your account, but you only pay for the subscribers that you are actually using. And if you haven't used your subscribers for 30 days, well, they get subtracted from this number over here. I have zero, account approval level 5,000, and email sent zero. Then we have subscribers growth over here. And also, again, this is a demo account, so we don't see many numbers. Monthly campaign stats are over here. You can see the last three months, six months, 12 months, and you can also export to CSV and CSV for Excel. At the very bottom, we have the automations. I don't have any automations turned on. So this month, no emails went out from automations. And last month, also no emails went out from automations. And if I click these three active automations workflows here, it will take me to this area over here, automations. And at the bottom right corner, we have 43 forms. Signups this month, zero. Last month, we had 10 signups. And again, if I click this button, it will take me to the forms area over here. And that's all for the dashboard. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.